I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown right now. There's an Airbnb upstairs and this is like the worst nightmare for me. I don't want to start this vlog with like negative energy, but I'm just so angry and I have to like get out of the house like as soon as possible because it's a Sunday morning, okay? And they woke me up at seven and like I go to university every single day. Um, so I wake up early every single day and I can't, okay? I can't be in this house and listen to all the noise they're still making. Like it's 10 o'clock right now. Why do you need to like walk all the time and throw like objects on the floor? I need to grab some matcha because I'm so sleepy. I have to read like some pages of this book for uni for tomorrow actually. for like two and a half hours I think like I've done everything I had to do for uni for tomorrow but they kept telling me that um, I couldn't study there during the weekend <laughs> so I was like okay like they told me twice and then I was like okay I'm done I know people relax on Sundays usually but if I have to study like what's the problem in just like sitting there reading my book I'll be back but um, during the week yeah so I'm just walking around right now I think I'm going to a vintage market but I'm not gonna film it because I film a vintage market every time I make a video so I think it's annoying for you Okay, it's 4 p.m. kind of. I'm already home because I have a headache and I know it's because of like the like anxiety and stress. I'm gonna take a shower now because I wanna be like comfortable and then I wanna take some time to paint. I haven't used acrylic paint since I was a child. I used to paint a lot because my dad painted a lot. I don't know if you know but my dad died when I was five or six and so basically I stopped painting. I really would like to keep painting because I know it's it was like a very important like part of me and I've always been very creative. I don't even know like how long it's gonna take. Like as we grow up we start believing that being like painting or like being creative is useless. Like they teach us that it's a waste of time and it's just not true. If you are interested please read your brain on art it's like a book I read um, that book like a month ago three weeks ago and it was life-changing and like it was talking about like how important like the aesthetic world we live in is for your well-being like how art is useful for your well-being and it impacts your well-being a lot and that you should live a more like aesthetic life in which you take care of like aesthetic aspects of your life
it took me like two hours and a half but this is my like the final thing i don't think it's bad <laughs> i don't know um i realized my problem is like finding the right color like mixing colors to find like the perfect one because like um the green here it was so difficult like the trees um it's not like the original one <laughs> it's 7 30 right now i'm waiting for my food i'm waiting for a vegan burger like it's a burger but with vegan meat and then onion fries no onion onion rings yeah onion rings and i will be watching some youtube videos at the same time i never watch um my phone or my computer while eating uh, i mean never <laughs> most of the times but on sunday my favorite like creators upload their videos this is like my treat for the week like i eat whatever i want while watching youtube and i finally relax painting was a flow experience and i wasn't really expecting that but like time flew by and i didn't even realize that so it means i have to paint more <laughs> um it was good for my mental health also something i wanted to talk about is the fact that i'm doing all of these like mm, hobbies and like things just because i don't have social media anymore i deleted instagram and tiktok like a month ago my life honestly changed for the better of course i have so much time to do whatever i want to like read i read so many books and like it never happened before like i've always read books but like not that many and when i'm waiting for someone or for a class to start at uni for example i read i don't have to go on my phone because like i only have like whatsapp to send and receive um texts but that's it <laughs> so there's nothing i can do on my phone so i read and i yeah and for example today i have time to paint and to be creative in different ways and also i've started uh, making videos for youtube again and because now i have time and i feel so motivated and i don't feel fomo right now maybe like the first few days without like instagram especially i felt like oh my gosh like what am i missing right now nothing okay um my life is so much better right now i don't know what will happen but for now like it makes me anxious just like just like the idea of having social media again makes me so freaking anxious and i'm not telling you to like you know delete social media but this is just my experience and i wanted to share i feel like my anxiety was like this <laughs> i mean um i felt less and less anxious like every day especially something i noticed is that at night i'm tired and i fall asleep immediately and i'm sh i'm sure i'm 100 sure it's because of the fact that i don't have social media anymore because i used to scroll on like tiktok especially before going to bed and it's negative for your mental health so yeah <laughs> Station wagon going slow